for a while, okay, you still weren't doing all those others. You don't even know what they are. Okay, guess what? You don't need to know what they are. They're not for you. Right? They're not for you. Okay, so therefore, verse 9, you are not under a curse. Why? Because the prophet Malachi already said wasn't talking to you. All right? You can't do tithes and offerings. All right? You are not under a curse. The, uh, the, the whole nation of you. What nation? It's talking about the natural nation, not a spiritual nation. Talking about the nation of Israel. All right? Um, verse 10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. The storehouse... Um, uh, I'm not going to get into it at this time, but uh, a lot of you have been told that the uh, local church is the storehouse, and that's why you ought to bring your tithe there. You can call your local church what you want, okay? Uh, God does not require you to bring your tithe to your local church. God doesn't, okay? Um, uh, <clears throat> I won't get into that subject right now. Uh, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Food, F double O D, food. That's what the tithe was. It was food, crops from the land or or animals that were herded. All right, it was always food, never money, never. All right, and no, we're not free to change. We're not free to change scripture to make it suit our times. See, I can understand why. Um, uh, I can understand why we would have a, a tendency to, to try to change it because a, a lot of people, one reason might be because a lot of people have the King James Version of the Bible. And so you know just from reading it that some of the things in there need to be updated because we don't talk that way. Okay? Because we don't talk that way. Well, there's a difference in updating the language between, there's a difference between updating the language and updating the content of what it says. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, the language needs to be updated so more people can understand it. You notice the version I'm reading from, for some of you, it reads real easy. Okay? It reads real easy for me as well. Um, it makes teaching a whole lot easier. Okay? Speaking in a language that folks normally speak. Alright? Makes it a lot easier. So, food. That's what the tithe was. It was food. Um, uh, the next verse. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I would not throw open the floodgates of heaven. All right. Um, so, I already answered the question, who was Malachi talking to? The other question I asked you was the floodgates of heaven. For people that don't tithe, are the floodgates of heaven open or closed? Well, remember I'm saying that this scripture doesn't apply to you, and I can back that up another way. Uh, <clears throat> let me point this out. If, if this is a promise, this is a promise to open the floodgates of heaven, or your Bible might say the windows of heaven. In order for the windows or floodgates of heaven to be open, something has to happen first. Yes, that something is what? The windows have to be closed. So, for us, <clears throat> for, for people that do not tithe, right, are the windows of heaven closed to us? I'm telling you, no. Okay, you need some evidence. Glad to give it. Open your Bible in the New Testament. We're going to go to Ephesians chapter 1, starting in verse 3. It reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. <clears throat> now, the um, has blessed us, past tense, has already done it. All right? The fact that we may not understand that, we don't see it, we don't really, really comprehend that, well, that's because uh, we haven't been taught to really recognize that. I hope to get you started to start recognizing how, how God has already blessed us. You need some more evidence? That's good. I have one for you. Second Peter chapter 1. Also in verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Um... <clears throat> 
end of scripture. So his divine power has given us. He already did it. Okay, he already did it. We need to get educated. We need to get an understanding of what God already did so that we stop chasing blessings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, many a Christian has been taught that they need to go after some blessings, either by tithing or by having super faith, putting faith in your faith or faith in your offering, or by sowing a seed. Uh, you have to do those things, supposedly you have to do those things in order to be blessed by God. I'm telling you, no. That's not what I read here in the scripture. Okay? Um, uh, <clears throat> the um, you know, stop for a minute and think about it. Um, if you're um, uh, think about the list of the Hebrews chapter 11. I won't take the time to go through it right now. The Hebrews chapter 11 has a list of those who were commended for their great faith. All right? Uh, <clears throat> read it. Take a look at it yourself. That's Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, especially go down to the bottom, uh, the unnamed people on the list, all right, who they talked about all kinds of suffering that they had to go through. All right? um, this is not a list of those who got rich. Nope, not a list of that. Uh, it's not a list of people who got a lot of things from God. Whose faith, you know, it's, not, you know, it's not just people who had big enough faith to receive big things from God. Things that they could consume, you know, cars or horses or this or that or houses. Yeah, God, it's okay for us to have some of those, okay, for sure. I'm not against that. Uh, but think about it. Who's the richest man in the Bible? Solomon? He didn't make the list. Right? Solomon didn't make the list. It's not just about uh, um, <clears throat> and think about Abram for just a moment as I close out here. Um, Abram was rich, but why was it? I've heard say that Abram was rich because God, uh, because of his tithing. No, he was not rich because of his tithing. All right, pay attention in the next section. I'll show you. Uh, he was not rich because of that. He was rich because God said. Abram, I'm going to bless you.